Hey Huskies, I'm hanging outside Old Science Hall where I'm going to talk to Dr. Sadocholu and he's going to tell us a little bit about the history department. Hello, good afternoon. How are you today? Doing fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, can I ask you a few questions about the history department? Sure. My first question would be, um, what's your favorite area of research and why? Um, my favorite area of research is um, law and legal studies and, and others are so boring stuff for people, but I find it very exciting because that's where people fight about on paper the most. Uh, and I, I think understanding that helps us understand how people interact with each other. I do research on Islamic law, I do research on Ottoman Empire, and I do research on Bulgaria and how they intersect and overlap with each other. What are some interesting careers with, um, that students can get with a history major? Students can pick uh, a variety of careers. Uh, they can, the most obvious ones are becoming uh, historians, researchers, and teachers of history at a variety of different levels. But in addition to that, uh, students can become um, associated with think tanks, uh, research organizations. Uh, they can become um, researchers even for the Library of Congress. Uh, and uh, they can also be involved with some more exciting elements of uh, humanities, like digital humanities, where they learn how to manage databases, create cool stuff with historical artifacts. They can further their training and become archivists, um, work with really good uh, material that is fairly, fairly old and uh, interesting. Um, depending on their interest, they can become public historians, uh, work at the museums and uh, work at open uh, museum sites as well as um, in indoor museums uh, where they can design and show and explain exhibitions if they want to. Uh, in addition to that, historians can do a variety of stuff that involves critical thinking because that's what we do at the history department. We encourage people to think critically, to approach critically to, uh, to whatever they see, whatever they read, whatever they encounter. What would you say is your favorite class to teach and why? Uh, my favorite class to teach, uh, I have two. Uh, one is my modern Middle East class. Uh, I like that class because it involves uh, encouraging the students to look at different perspectives on the history or histories of the Middle East because there's no single perspective on how to understand the history of that region. And then to compare those different perspectives and get an understanding of why there are so many different perspectives and who gains from having those different perspectives. Uh, my other favorite course is a reading seminar on the Ottoman Empire. It's a very little understood empire, particularly in this type of the country, and this type of, in this part of the world. I'm sorry. Um, so it's a, it's an exciting for me because students learn a lot about an empire that they do not know much about, and, um, and they get to understand the complexity of the Mediterranean in general. And, well, learn that there were other empires than just the Roman Empire or, or any uh, um, other empire that they might be familiar with. How can history students get involved outside of the classroom? Um, there's a lot that they can do uh, outside of the classroom uh, in addition to getting sort of being involved with archives and libraries. Um, they can also uh, get engaged with, if they become a public historian, they can uh, get engaged with open air museums, they can, they can become a part of uh, the installations that is outside, like the Gettysburg um, Museum and other places where they can serve as guides or they can, I mean, outside of the classroom, I'm assuming you're talking about not being a teacher or a student, they can become researchers, which is not a classroom activity and they can, as I mentioned earlier on, they can work for think tanks or, or, or NGOs in other places. They can become um, researchers on the field, go overseas, explore other sort of societies and cultures um, in Afghanistan, in, in Iran, or in, in Egypt and other parts of the world that they have not encountered. Before. 
So there, there's a lot that you can do outside of the typical teaching classroom activities, which involves asking questions, research, and being engaged with a whole sorts of other people. Thank you so much for all your information. No problem. If you're interested in being a history major, we have it here for you.